Hi folks, Terry here. I just wanted to do a quick update on policy changes at Echo Glen, specifically around volunteers. So volunteers at Echo Glen need to submit their proposed schedule by the 25th of every month. So actually that's when I need to submit the schedule. So you need to submit it to me probably by the 22nd of every month. So I have time to compile it into one document so that we can send it to um, the volunteer coordinator, Honey Herman, and the uh, uh, volunteer access coordinator, Kim Miller. They will take those and they put it on a master schedule that then goes out to everyone. Also at that time on the 22nd, when you send anything to me, you also need to send me a list of what supplies you will be bringing in. This is for religious volunteers, secular volunteers, uh, church volunteers, um, grand study volunteers. We need to know ahead of time everything that you will be bringing onto campus. Now, of course, things do occasionally rise up and we can do occasional modifications, but it should be assumed that your schedule is set in stone and that you're not going to make a lot of changes. Last, uh, if you are bringing in food or gifts, it needs to have a purpose. So think purpose-driven food or gifts. And unfortunately, just so that the youth will be uh, have some joy in their day from the gifts that you are bringing in is not a purpose. They would really like to see any gifts or of uh, books or food, and those are our limitations, books or food, um, be directed towards a reward uh, kind of system. So have they been in meeting with you and it's been a really productive couple meetings, then you can think about how you can reward them or reward the whole cottage with something. Um, second, the cottage staff, if you coordinate bringing things in with the cottage staff, they have no idea that those items need to be on a security list that will be at the front desk that everybody will be checking. And I just saw a note today that they are going to be printing that out and giving that to the people who scan everything so that the people that scan will have a weekly schedule ahead of time saying exactly what's coming in during that week. So we need to make sure everything gets on that security list so that there is nothing preventing you from bringing things in that are in that kind of uh, reward system of uh, giving the people that are participating appropriately a gift. Or even like uh, one of the cottages had a really good week and so a volunteer brought in uh, some food for that whole cottage as a reward. Unfortunately, it didn't get on the security list ahead of time. So then a few people were a little bit freaking out. And that's because there's been a, uh, a few instances of people things being brought in that were not on the security list properly, and they just really don't like it when that happens. So, process recap. Send to me everything that you are going to do or need by the 22nd of every month, and that is whether you are a religious, spiritual, or secular mentor, or if you are leading some sort of religious group study or worship then I will send that to the people that need it and coordinate everything so that you are able to come in on your time, bringing the things that you want to bring in a good way. And nobody at security will stop you or ask you to take things back to your car. Let me know if you have any questions. You can send me an email uh, or uh, give me a call. You know how to do that. So thank you very much for your service to the youth. I appreciate you, and um, if things come up during the month that you need added on, I do need at least a three-day notice in order to coordinate with security any additional items that you might be bringing in. Yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you again. Uh, 
I'll talk to you later. Bye.